first of all, I would say slowly. I, people don't change very quickly. And if it's a worship change that is that is somewhat based on a musical on, on a musical issue, I think we've got to realize the emotional attachment that people have to particular sounds, <laughs> for lack of a better way. But in that slow transition. I think the most important thing that we do is, is always have a very strong biblical apologetic for why we are changing. The word is transtemporal, the word is transcultural, the word is transgenerational. There's no music that has all that. And I think that, so helping people see that changes in worship are wrought not because we want to be like church A down the street, or that we want to go a different direction to attract a different demographic, but we're changing based on what the word says and, and why the, why we would worship differently is because we feel biblically, this is, this is going to facilitate much more effective worship because it, it's done the way it's been prescribed in the word. That's 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 the only reason to change. I think if we don't have a biblical apologetic for everything that we do in script or everything we do in worship, that's that's prescribed here. I think we probably need to to rethink some things in worship. So it's it's through the word. <laughs>